Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter, back with another Microsoft Rewards Punch Card Guide. So today I wanted to be sure I gave everybody a heads up about a new punch card that has just appeared here for the month of June. This is the Microsoft Rewards Top 10. We seem to be having one of these pop up every month, and this is a good opportunity to earn 500 rewards points. So there's a new set of top 10 games to choose from here. Some of them are old favorites that we've seen before, and there are some new games in here as well. So the 10 games that you have to choose from are all pictured at the top, and they're also listed on the left-hand side of the screen, so feel free to choose any of those 10 games for your easy achievement. But the first thing you want to do is make sure that you click to activate your punch card so that you get your first green check mark. And then once you've done that, you can come back to the punch card and take a look at the set of 10 games. They're all listed at the top here, and we need to earn an achievement in one of these 10 games. Now, I'm going to be posting in the description some various other achievements that you can choose from. There may be some comments listed below that mention some other achievements that might be good options for this. But the game that I'm going to be recommending for this is a brand new one that was just added to Game Pass with a lot of old favorites in it. It's called Pac-Man Museum Plus. And a couple people have recommended this to me, including Brewer and Neuromastic. So thanks to you all for recommending this achievement. Again, if this one doesn't work for you, just check in the description for some other video guides and check in the comments. You may be able to find some other achievements that will work for you there. But we'll go ahead and get started in Pac-Man Museum Plus. And this should take us just about five minutes or so to grab this achievement. We're going to play a couple of games inside of here. And basically we'll just be moving through the menu system for the most part, but we'll play a couple of quick Pac-Man games and get a quick achievement. So the first thing that'll pop up is the terms of use, so you can agree to those, and then you'll have to go through the privacy policy and agree to that. And once you've done that, you can just quickly press A to get through the tutorial screens that pop up here. And then we're going to move Pac-Man over to the right and just choose the very first Pac-Man machine on the right there and press A to play. We're going to press the right bumper to insert a coin and then press the start button to get started. And feel free to go ahead and play these matches and you know work on actually trying to score well in the game. I was trying to just finish it as quickly as possible so I decided to just collide with each of the ghosts as quickly as I could. So that will exhaust one of your three lives. You have three lives on each game. So the achievement that we're going for here is called Welcome to Pac-Man Museum Plus. And basically it just says in the description that you need to complete one game in order to get started and grab this achievement. But actually I found, and I think a lot of people are finding, that you actually need to complete two games. So after you get your first game over, then you'll want to just hit the right bumper to insert one more coin and then start one more time. And then go through the same process of just getting yourself killed three times or eaten by the ghosts, however you want to put it. And then that will finish up the second game and then we'll be on our way to grabbing the achievement. So there is my first death on the second game and we're looking for two more deaths. So I decided that hanging out in this first area kind of to the left of that center rectangle seems to be a good place to quickly get eaten by the ghosts. So if you want to go up into this spot right here, this seems to be an ideal spot to quickly get eaten. So you may want to just go up there for your six times. And once you get your second game over, then you can just press X to bring the menu up. Go down to the bottom option to return to arcade and then say yes and then you'll need to press OK a couple more times to get past these results screens. And then once you get back to the arcade, it may take just a minute for the achievement to pop up. It took about 30 seconds or so for me, but there we go. We've got the Welcome to Pac-Man Museum Plus for launching and playing a game. So that's a pretty quick and easy one. Again, look in the description or in the comments if you're looking for another easy achievement, if you maybe already had this one in Pac-Man Museum Plus. But one other thing that we can quickly do is press B and hop out and grab the Achieve More Earn More points for 50 extra points to add on to this since we grabbed an achievement. And if you're ever looking for more easy achievements every week, we do post guides for members here on the channel. So if you haven't clicked that join button, feel free to click that and find out more about becoming a member of the Rewards Hunter channel and helping to support what we do here on YouTube. But anyway, that's it for today for the Microsoft Rewards Top 10 Game Pass Favorites. And we'll have another guide coming out just a little bit later on today for the June monthly bonus round. 
and we'll grab a couple more easy achievements within the contrast game that we've been working on the last few weeks here on the channel. So I will look forward to seeing you all in that guide. Thanks for watching everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description of this video if you want to stay connected with us. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.